Hey, this is Ralph. In this video, I want to go over autocorrect options. So you probably use autocorrect options quite a bit, even if you haven't created any for yourself. For instance, if I start typing out a sentence, in fact, let me make my font nice and big here. If I start typing a sentence that begins with the word the, and I misspell the word the, as soon as I hit my space, Word corrects it for me. Or if I do hyphen hyphen greater than sign, Word changes it to an arrow. By the way, equals equals greater than sign gets you a bold arrow. You're probably familiar with the colon parentheses to get the smiley, or the colon less than to get the um, sad face. So that's some of the benefits of using autocorrect, but you can make your own autocorrect options. So if there's a word that you misspell on a regular basis, you can have it correct it for you. So if I were to type the word congratulations, and I spell it with a D instead of a T, and press space, Word doesn't correct this for me. But if this is a spelling error I make regularly, then I would want to add this. Super easy to do. I click on File, go down to Options, and then over to Proofing. There's a number of things you might want to check out, but let's go into Autocorrect Options and you'll use this dialog box. By the way, there's a few things up here worth checking out too. Uh, I start a lot of sentences, or at least enough sentences, with email addresses and web addresses, so I don't like it when Word capitalizes the first letter of sentences, so I've unchecked this, this particular autocorrect feature. Um, others are pretty useful though, if you accidentally capitalize the first letter, you know, or I'm sorry, um, if you accidentally capitalize the first two letters right there, so you can keep that checked and it'll correct it for you. But here's what I want to check out. I want to replace a misspelled word, congratulations, spelled with a D, and replace it with congratulations, spelled with a T, the proper way. I'll have my wrong word and my right word. I'll choose Add, add it to the library, click OK, click OK. So now, As soon as I misspell that word and press my space, Word will correct it for me. Super cool. Okay, one more thing I want to show you with this. File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options. It doesn't just have to be for misspellings. You can also use autocorrect options so that you can type in shorthand and Word types out the long word. Um, start very simple, you could put in your own initials. So I'll put in my initials RP and I'll replace it with Ralph Phillips. And I'll add that to the list. Now let's say I was doing a paper on Mark Andreessen, um, inventor of the Netscape browser and things like that, and the Mosaic browser from years ago. So I could put in those initials, MA, and put in the correct Mark Andreessen. Now I might have a potential problem here, especially if I was writing a short story and I wanted to refer to somebody's ma. But I'll go ahead and add that. Click OK. Click OK. So now my initials gives me my name and Mark Andreessen's initials gives me his name. So that's another way you can use autocorrect options to help you out. Oh, and let me just show you one more thing you can do. You can have Word replace a uh, regular word and put it in an accented word. For instance, let's say you're writing a resume. Um, now if I write resume, it's going to obviously the word resume, I don't get the accented E. And let's say I really want that. So what I might do in this example is I can select that E and then I can head over to insert symbol. I'll jump over to more symbols. I'm going to do normal text and I'm going to look for the accented E character. It's right down here somewhere. There we go. Click insert and close and I have the corrected word. I'm going to select this word resume, copy it, file, options, proofing, autocorrect options and I'm going to just paste the correct one. Now for the wrong word I don't want to just put in resume because obviously if I'm writing the word resume, I don't want that accented E to show up. So instead, I'll make my own misspelling. I'll put resume with an extra E on the end. I'll add that to the library, click OK, click OK. So now, 
I have no problem writing the word resume, writing your, just two E's and a space, resume writing your resume. So those are autocorrect options, can really save you a lot of time if you're using Word for work or school. Thank you.